Now we're here with Omar Figueroa. First off, just a few days away, big fight card. Ugas, what do you think of the fight and the fight card in general? I mean, it's a, one of the best fight cards I've been on. Well, no, the best fight card I've been on. Uh, this is one of one of my toughest challenges, if not my toughest challenge. So um, I'm looking forward to it. I've always said I like a challenge, and I think this is a challenge I've been looking for. Ugas had won, I think, like 13 fights in a row. Then he lost his last fight, but a lot of people thought he beat Sean Porter. Did, what did you think of that fight? I didn't watch it. You didn't see it? Okay. A lot of people were thinking he had done enough to pull it out, meaning he's kind of on that level yeah. of the top welterweights. Do you look at if a win over him is going to put you right there at the top? I just want to win. I don't care what it does for me. I just want to, just want to beat this guy. And how do you feel? You've been out of the ring the last couple of years, kind of on and off. Do you feel like you might be rusty? Or how does it feel in the gym when you're getting ready for this fight? Honestly, this camp, I feel great. I was healthy. Uh, I, I did exactly what I needed to do in the ring, I feel. Uh, as far as sparring and everything, took care of my hands, took care of my body. And mentally, I've, I'm, I'm in a better place than I've ever been. With the win, what do you want to do? I just, I want to enjoy my victory. I want to spend time with my kids for the rest of the summer. And, you know, we'll talk after this. I don't know. I, honestly, I don't care. I don't know, man. That's a tough one because I know, I know uh, Thurman is a kind of an obscure fighter but he's really smart in the ring so it's hard to tell but I feel like he opens up too much so I feel like maybe Pacquiao's gonna catch with a short hook or something. Oh yeah. yeah I mean Pacquiao is, is not human when it comes to that so he can he can definitely hurt Thurman. And what do you think the last couple of years um, your brother is really starting to take off? Is there any type of rivalry between yourself or oh, you just no. support each other? How does that work? I mean, we talk shit to each other all the time, but I mean, yeah, I, I have to talk. I have to bring him down a little bit because he, he, he sometimes loses his footing, so I got to be like, hey, shut up. Like, you still haven't done anything, you know? This is the interim or you're still not a full champ. Or, but uh, I try to keep him motivated and, and just show him, I guess, show him the ropes and, and the way around the mistakes that I've made. Because he's got a big fight himself coming up next Yes, time. sir. How is it? You, you fought down there close to home. How is um, how is the atmosphere when you guys are there yourself too? When you're fighting close to your hometown friends, it's great, man. The the fans down there are amazing, but I feel like it's a lot more responsibility when you're fighting close to home as far as when it comes to media and the fans. So they expect a lot more out of you. They expect you to to be at more places, to make more appearances, and I feel that I prefer fighting out of out of my hometown to be honest. But uh, just because it takes so much leading up to the fight, you know. Um, and then the fans get mad if you don't like, if you're in a bad mood or whatever. And it's like, you don't understand, like I'm trying to cut weight. I'm trying to, there's so much going on. I have a fight coming up, but uh, now nah, the fans are amazing down there and my brother's gonna enjoy that. And there's more, uh, with, yeah, I, I wanna say this is the first camp in a while, at least that you, it's been scheduled for Walter Wade. Um, I don't know, how does that feel? Has, has camp been a little better? You know, how has that been being able to kind of eat a little bit? Yeah, well, that's the thing. I, I've actually been thinking about that the last few days. I mean, even 140, I feel like would be easy for me to make. It obviously would take more uh, discipline, but the thing is that, like I said from my last fight, something went down a week and a half before the fight that it just threw everything off. And, and it just sucks because, I mean, I'm a professional. I've been doing this for a long time. This is my livelihood. So it's not like I'm out screwing around partying and, and just blowing off the, the weight cut, you know? But, uh, like I said, for this one, I'm healthy. I should have no problem with the weight. Um, and that, I mean, that's about it. I, I just I just want to be healthy, that's it. Does it frustrate you? I feel I kind of heard some frustration in your voice almost like you do take it serious. And I feel like because of those mishaps of weight before, maybe the, the fan stigma on you is that, oh, he doesn't work hard. He's not really dedicated. Do you want to address you know, that? I mean, I, I really don't care to address it. It is what it is. I mean, the, the people that, I'm not saying the fans don't matter, but you know, my, like my manager and the promoters and all that, they know that I'm not out screwing around. So to me, that's ultimately what matters. My coach knows, my team knows, and, and they see me, you know, they're in camp with me. So they see that I take this serious. It's just, so, you know, shit happens. And there's, there's nothing you can do about that. And that's why I said, and I mean, it, it's, it might be getting old because I keep saying it, like, you know, it's just damage control at this point. But I've, I've had so many injuries. Like I said, I've been doing this for 24 years, man. It takes a toll on the body. So uh, other than that, like I said, for this one, I'm healthy. Everything's looking good. I, I'm probably on weight right now. Uh, I haven't checked. I just, I just got back from the gym. 
but uh, if not, I still have, you know, two and a half days to make weight. And if not, I should be on weight right now. So like I said, as long as I'm healthy, everything should should be good. And you said uh, earlier that you didn't see Ugas' fight with uh, Porter. Is that a common thing you don't normally yeah, watch? I don't watch uh, boxing at all. You don't watch boxing at all? No. Oh, wow. So you don't. It's like, been my life for 24 years. Like right? I said, so I'm tired. You're good with it on the off time? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when I'm off, I, I don't like to be involved in boxing unless it's like my brother's fight or something and I'm definitely gonna go you know but uh, other than that I try to stay away from it as much as possible but with that, being, question, guys. With that being said they're supposed to announce here shortly the Spence and Porter fight I know you've um, seen obviously a lot of Spence just growing up in Texas uh, what do you think of that fight who do you think wins I think Spence stops him stops him yeah because I think uh, I mean Porter's a strong fighter don't get me wrong I just think he opens up a lot, and I feel like Spence is going to catch him. But, I mean, Spence is a monster, though. I remember when I fought him. I mean, like, I'm not trying to use this as any anchor or anything, but when I fought him in the amateurs, I, I felt his strength. And he's just, he's, like I said about Pacquiao, he's almost not human when it comes to that. He's just a freak of nature when it comes to his strength. And, uh, he's really big, too, for the weight. Yeah, yeah. So I fought him at 141 in the amateurs, and um, he went up in weight. And that when I went down to 135 for pro, so that's why I was having a lot of trouble with weight early on in my career. And I feel like I, I put my body through so much, too, you know, having to cut down back down to 135 for the pros. Are you going to stay at 147 then? You feel like I feel great, man. I think I'm just going to stay at 147. Plus, that's where everything's at right now. That's So, might as well. That's a wrap, y'all. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.